welcome to the next video on software engineering in this video we are going to talk about the requirements engineering process covered under module 3 and 4 of the syllabus so let us start as you can see here requirements elicitation and analysis requirements specification and requirements validation these are the three main activities if we talk about the output of first phase that is requirements elicitation and analysis we get system description while here we get user and system requirements these are again important part of the requirements document which is validated in this phase that is requirements validation so we can say that main activities of the requirement engineering process are requirements elicitation and analysis requirements specification and requirements validation so ultimately if we talk about requirement engineering what exactly its aim is its aim is to produce an agreed requirements document agreed between whom all stakeholders in the system or software development okay so that specifies the requirement documents specifies a system satisfying all stakeholders requirements okay so these requirements can be presented at two levels at the user level more abstract high level statement of the requirements and detailed for the system developers okay so system developers need a detailed system specification so all those requirements are covered after this phase okay requirements elicitation and analysis this is the process of deriving the system requirements through observation of existing systems discussions with the potential users who are the procurers task analysis and so on this may involve the development of one or more system models and prototypes okay so system description is created here what exactly is the help this help you understand the system to be specified requirements specification requirements specification is the activity of translating the information gathered during requirements analysis into a document that defines a set of requirements that we also call as SRS okay the software requirement document now two types of requirements may be included in the this document as we have said earlier user and system so user requirements are abstract statements of the system requirements for the customer and end user of the system while system requirements are a more detailed description of the functionality to be provided after these two phase we come to requirements validation one of the important thing because we have to check for the errors we have to check whether the requirements are complete or not whether there exist any inconsistency so in this activity we check for the realism consistency and completeness all requirements must be specified there should not be any contradictory requirements okay during this process errors in the requirements document are inevitably discovered it must then be modified to correct these problems okay so there are three activities as we have discussed here requirements elicitation and analysis then requirements specification and after these two activities we come across with the requirements validation references are these thank you for watching the video